What's up guys, Beagle Bass Fishing here again. So we're gonna give you a quick update on what's going on with the boat. As you know from the first video, um, we had vinyl problems on the boat. Uh, for some reason they gave this vinyl decking on the boat when we bought it and I didn't want it and they made me pay extra for it. And basically I was fighting with them. It has bubbles on it. So they had to remove the vinyl because it's just delaminating. So I was fighting with them saying, listen, I didn't want vinyl in the beginning. I wanted the carpet. So since you're taking the vinyl off, put the carpet on. Well, track of Marines, like we can't do that. We can only put what you have, blah, 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 blah. I made this big stink, I pissed off. Went to go look at my boat uh, about a week and a half later and it looked just like this. And that's all they did. All they did was pull off the front piece of vinyl and said, oh, we're at a standstill. So I went back about two, uh, two days later and they said, okay, uh, we got the approval to fix the improper bracing in your front deck. So uh, Tracker Marine is shipping us the braces to reinforce your front deck. And since we pulled off the vinyl on the front, we're gonna replace the vinyl on the front. I said, no, you can place the vinyl on the whole boat. Going and going and going and going and going. Friday, a couple days ago, I went down there. I just walked and looked at the guy. I didn't even say nothing. He knew what I, he knew I was pissed. And he's like, well, we haven't heard nothing. I said, listen, this is the bottom line. Monday, if I don't get a phone call saying you are removing all this vinyl from this boat and putting in carpet, you could take off the brand new Makota Ultrax, take off the power pole, <coughs> take off my graphs, my extra batteries, and give them to me and keep the damn boat. And I slammed the door. Went home all weekend, relaxed, smoked a cigar, whatever. Monday, I get a phone call. Uh, guess what? Uh, you, we got the approval to remove all of your vinyl and put carpet on. I guess that's what happens when you put your foot down. I got tired of the bull crap. So, <clears throat> one thing he did say, we're not sure how long we're gonna have your boat. So you gotta think, they gotta pull off all the vinyl. Supposedly, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Allergies. Um, when you have carpet, the, the hatches are a different size. So they had to order all new hatches from um, Bass Tracker, order the carpet, and they still have to peel off all the old vinyl, take off the helm so they can get everything in there. So what I'm thinking right now, uh, filming this, it is December, I don't know, 18th. Probably will have my boat till February. And honestly, I wish they would send my boat way up to Bass Tracker and have them put the carpet on because the guys in Tracker Marine, I mean, they do patch jobs. I don't think they know how to carpet a whole damn boat. We'll see what happens, but I also told them the old seat posts, which on, on the boat, like if you watch the review um, of the last boat, the last review on this boat, uh, the seat posts that screw in, they go in so damn tight, you need a monkey wrench to pull them out. We've driven home with them stuck in there. So I told him, you need to change it to the new system and I'll put a picture right here. This is the new system Bass Tracker has for their, um, should be right here in the picture. Pick uh, for their, what is it? Oh, C-Post. It, it's kind of when it goes in now and clicks. I, I'm like, I want that done too. The only way I'm gonna be happy is if that boat comes back to me with vinyl and the newer C-Post. The reason why you updated the C-Post is because the old ones failed. So replace mine. So that's where we're sitting at. Uh, carpets ordered for the boat, uh, new hatches, and they should be dismantling it. So that's where we're at. As of right now, when I get the boat back, it will have brand new carpet throughout the whole thing and brand new hatches. Woo, early in the morning, early in the morning. Too early for this stuff. But I'll keep you guys posted on what's gonna happen next, but um, stay tuned. And you know, if you're looking for a bass tracker or warranty stuff and reviews, just stay right here because I own one. And I'm gonna tell you everything that's wrong with it, everything to be fixed. So uh, if you want the information, stay tuned. Be good at bass fishing. Out. Yeah.